It's all right. Come on. My feet are killing me. I wouldn't take those off here. Not across this yard. The horse, you know. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you might not well get you in. <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> Keep it down. He's still up. You said he'd be in bed. He always got to bed at this time. Oh, God. I am <laughs> not going to walk all around the streets anymore. No, 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 of course not. Let's go in. No, no. He won't go up to bed. I know him. He'll just sit there watching us. <laughs> Look, he'll go up to bed in a minute. Let's just wait here for a while. I'm not standing against a wall all night. I'm too old for all that. <laughs> oh, no, <of> course not. <laughs> we don't have to. Come on. Come over here. Well, I'm going to give him five minutes. That's all. Then I'm going. Yeah, this looks all right. There's some straw in here. Yeah, there's horse in there as well. <laughs> you wake him up and he'll kick the doors down. <laughs> come on, come on. This will do very nicely. Come on, sit down. For five minutes, that's all, then I'm off. Yes. Hang on. Kick the wind off. Avis, Avis, Avis. I'm potty about you, Avis. Mm. Don't get carried away. I'm not the open air type. No, no. Avis, <laughs> oh. I'm cold. Oh, blind. Well, I am. Hang on. Here you are. Put this round you. <laughs> Where'd you get it from? Off the hills. Ah! <laughs> oh, we give them a rub down every day. It's all airy, no. A few wears won't hurt. <laughs> oh, Avis, I've been going potty about you all week. Look at me. Oh, your soul. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a poem. You upset about something? Yes. Oh, look, he's gone all sulky. What's the matter? I'm trying to make love to you. Well, I thought we were going to wait till we got inside. <laughs> so I was trying to warm you up out here so we wouldn't have to mess about. <laughs> you take too much for granted. It's been the same all night. You, you're being awful about it. Anyway, I thought we were going to go in straight away. So that was the idea, wasn't it? Do you really like me, Al? Yes, yes. Of course I do. Did you mean what you said to me in the pictures? About me being better looking than Ursula Andres? I wouldn't give her a house room. Oh. She's got nice hair, though. Yeah, but that don't smell as nice as yours, though. Mm. Harold? Do you like kinky girls? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? You know. Leather and big boots. I can take it or leave it. What? Well, it's just that when she come out of the sea all wet, with her dagger strapped to the side of her bikini, your hand went all clammy. <laughs> would you like to see me come out of the sea like that, Harold? Yes. yes. Oh, what would you do then, Harold? Oh, yes. Oh, 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 Go on, tell him. Tell him you're old enough. Tell him to buzz off. Mind his own business. Ah, oh, so we've got a talking horse now, <laughs> Get rid of her and come on in. You've got a hard day in front of her. I'm locking up in two minutes. Three guys are to the extreme, that one. One of these days, I'll stick one right on him. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about this, Avis. 
Look, when, when, when shall I see you again? You don't mean to say you're going to go in? Oh, I've got to, haven't I? I mean, he's going to lock oh, up. I've never heard anything in. like it in the whole of my life. A grown man being told what time he's got to go in? Oh, it's not quite it's like ridiculous. that. It's ridiculous. You're 38. I know, but he's... Look, you've got to stand up to him. Don't let him walk all over you like that. Why don't you get a place of your own? Oh, no, I couldn't do that. He relies on me. So you're going in? Well, I've got to. Oh, I see. Doesn't matter about me, then. Doesn't matter about me walking home on my own. Well, be reasonable. I won't get back to the half past one. He's on his own. What about me walking through the streets by myself? Get yourself a taxi. Go on, he's a quid. Oh, no. You keep your money. I don't want it. Buy yourself some comics. <laughs> I'm walking to the end of the street. Oh, no. You mustn't. Because that'll mean you walking back all on your own. We mustn't have Dad you worrying about you anymore. <laughs> you will ask him for a clout round here, I'll ask you. <laughs> right, mate. Go on, go in. Daddy will have your hot milk all ready for you. You great fairy, what are you? Ivy, Ivy, don't go. Come on, have the cow, promise. Ivy! Oh, I'll tell you again. Come on in. And your hot milk. You rotten little skin bag. What have I done wrong now? You love some little man, you. You dirty, smelly little pile of nasty. That's no way to speak to your father. Father? Eric was a better father than you are. You knew I had a bird out there, didn't you? Why did you have to humiliate me like that? I didn't humiliate all I said was it's time you come in. That is humiliating for a man of my age. I'm perfectly capable of deciding when it's time to come in and when it's time to go out. Gordon Bennett, if I can't stay out late at 38, turn the dogs late enough for anybody. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm Harold Steptoe, not bleeding Cinderella. <laughs> I'm going to die of being treated like a child. Every bird I've ever had, somewhere along the line, you put your spoke in, haven't That's you? That's not true. I never have get to you bringing birds back. Oh, I know. You enjoy it. You're at the keyhole most of the time, seeing I'm getting on. That's a lie. Nice enough. Every time I bring a bird home here, next morning you comes downstairs with a cold in your eye. <laughs> you flack yourself, mate, if you think I've time to waste looking in at the fumblings of an amateur like you. No. <laughs> but if I'm an amateur, it's because I don't get enough practice. <laughs> I do hang it on my neck. You will, no doubt, be pleased to know that Avis has joined the ever-increasing ranks of those what has given me the elbow. <laughs> Another threat to you has been got rid of. I will live in a monastery with the amount of crumpet I get. <laughs> I feel better at the end of a day as well. No, this is quite right. I ought to get a place of my own. A place of your own? Yes. Well, it's the only way, Dad. I, I, I don't get any privacy at all. I mean. I, I could come to work in the morning, then in the evening, when I'm finished, I'll go home. Like anybody else. So, I'm going to be stuck here on my own, then? I shall see you every day. It's the evenings that are the worst. That's when you need people most, in the evenings. I, I've only kept going because of you, Harold. I have no other reason for living. Oh, God, here we go. <laughs> You've got your telly and your bingo. You'll be better off as well. Because we won't get on each other's nerves so much. I'll be much pleasanter to live with when I'm getting my share. I, I won't be so neurotic. Good Bennett, I mean, it's just not right. A fellow of my age living at home with his dad. Oh. I suppose it happens to everybody. That's the mistake we make, I suppose. We devote all our lives to our children. And then when we need them most, they're off. We don't think that in the twilight years we'll be sitting at home alone, just waiting. That's all. Waiting. <laughs> the flickering candle getting weaker and weaker until one day it suddenly splutters and goes out. <laughs> <laughs> Lying there, <laughs> stiff and cold. <laughs> and mourn, 
unloved, unwanted. That is word for word what you told me 12 years ago when I wanted to join the Merchant Navy. I'm sorry, Daddy, I'm not going to fall for it again. We're all in the same boat. I'm getting old. We're all dying. It's not so many you're born. Well, you've had your life. I've not started mine yet. You have a funny idea what life is. There's more in life than catching birds. Is there? Well, when I've got one, I'll start investigating. <laughs> now, could you try to talk me out of it? I'm going. There's no more to be said, then, is there? No. I'm sorry, but there it is. Oh. <laughs> so start looking for a place first thing in the morning. Well. Good night, then. I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> if you can bear the sight of me. <laughs> oh, well. If we get through tonight without having to call the doctor in, I shall be very Oh, to go. I want to go in the dustbin. <laughs> oh, no, it's not my place. What is it? What's it look like? It's a bust. It'll be the only one you give up here. <laughs> well, you want to get a flat right on top. Oh, well, that's where penthouses is usually located. That's the gas works over there. <laughs> you have to to pick that out. You can see other things as well. Now, where's the kitchen? Over here. <laughs> nice and compact, isn't it? Yeah, you better get yourself some little birds as well. <laughs> get a big eater in here, you've had it. Oh, that's it. I can see you're not really interested. Oh, well, I expect you're anxious to get back home to Chez Fontainebleau. Well, excuse me, I've got my own packing to do. I shall see you first thing in the morning, half past eight on the dot. Have the horse ready. Eight and a half guineas. You must be off your camp. <laughs> eight pounds every penny! You can't put a price on freedom! Oh, darling, the last. I'm away! After 38 years, I've finally broken the cord! <laughs> this is how tigers must feel when they escape from the zoo. I've <laughs> got a lot of catching up to do. Let's see. Might as well start now. Uh, which lucky girl is going to have the privilege of launching it? <laughs> Deirdre. Deirdre. She's a raver. <laughs> Mad about me. Oh, that's good. Stop now what they're missing. <laughs> Hello, oh. Oh. <laughs> that'll be one of her first chores. <laughs> Afterwards. <laughs> Guess who? <laughs> it's Harold. Harold. Harold Steptow. Steptow. <laughs> yes, the wagon bow man. Well, long time now see. Okay. 
Dadley, how about you and me getting together this evening? My place? No, no, I've moved. Yeah, that's what I'm phoning you about. I've got a place of my own. No, I'm just taking a little box in town. A penthouse. <laughs> I thought you might like to be the first to uh, see it. No, I've got a couple of bottles here. I thought... Pardon? Why can't you wash it another night? <laughs> well, after Burke's Law, then. <laughs> well, how about tomorrow night? Oh. But are you fixed for next week? The week after? <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, don't, don't worry about it. I mean, just forget it. No, no, no. You've not let me down. No, I won't be on my own. No, I'll... Yeah, well... I'll, I'll see you around sometime, right? <laughs> uh, stupid bitch. <laughs> Ruby... Ruby Johnson? Fancy you forgetting her? What a darling. Daddy. Ruby... You're like a dream. Not always what you see. <laughs> Hello, Ruby. This is Harold. <laughs> I don't waste time talking, baby. Just grab your coat and make your way over to the penthouse flat. Nineteen, St. George. Pardon? Two what? Married? No, no, I don't want to speak to him. <laughs> no, really, I... Oh, hello. Congratulations. No, no, of course I won't phone again. I'll... Well, there's no need to take that attitude. I mean, I didn't even know that I was married. Hello, hello? That great twist. <laughs> That's a good start, anyway. Jenny. Well, a boat race isn't up so much. It's got a good figure, though. You might as well do her a favour. Albert. Smells lovely. It's very kind of you to come round like this, Mrs. Blackett. Oh, no, not Mrs. Blackett. Beryl. <laughs> We've known each other long enough. Yeah, it has been a long time. How long has George been dead? Three years. Oh, I expect you feel lonely. Yes, I have. I mean, you're still a young woman. Oh, you're not so old yourself, Albert. <laughs> <laughs> you should have come round before. You would have been very welcome. I didn't like to. Not with your son here. I mean, it might have been embarrassing for you. Sons can be very funny about these things. Well, now he's gone, there's no reason for you to stay away, is there? I hope you'll come round whenever you feel like it. I will. <laughs> if you would like me to. Oh, I'd like that very much. <laughs> oh. Volnay 57. Oh, lovely. I'm, uh, I'm glad we met up again. So am I. <laughs> to us. <laughs> I thought I'd tell you something else when you went off past eight. Oh, I'm sorry, I had a late night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's 
What's all this then? Oh, we didn't feel like clearing away last night. I'll do it later. Wait, who's we? I oh, had a friend in last night, Harold. Had a marvellous time. Who? Who was it? Oh, I don't know if you'd remember her. Huh? A woman? <laughs> you had a woman in here? Yes. Bella Blackett, old George Blackett's widow. You dirty old man! <laughs> You're at it already. Oh, Mind your own business. I thought you were going to be all lonely and sad in the twilight of your years. Yeah, so did I. I found out last night my clock must have been fast. <laughs> How did you make out? Did you enjoy your first day of freedom, did you? I, I, I didn't bother. I, I was too much to do, settling in, unpacking. Um, I, I just watched television. Ah, oh, well, so long as you enjoyed yourself, that's all that matters. You were quite right, Harold. We should have done this years ago. It's like a new lease of life. I felt 20 years younger last night. Like a lion, I was. <laughs> right in the light, I was anyway. <laughs> Good. I'm glad. Oh, well. I'll see you. Don't overdo it. <laughs> joking. Morning. Morning. Is your father in? Yeah. Oh, good. Fags out. Well, come on, let's get in and get sat down. Yeah, I know, waiting about tonight. Straight in. I've been potty thinking about this all week. Mm, no, 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 it's on the side. Now what's going on? Now it's a landlady. I know you're in there, that's not. I thought so. I thought so. Come on, out. No, you don't understand. Don't tell me she's your sister. There's no women allowed in here after 12 o'clock. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is a respectable house, this is. Ivy, where are you going? Oh, um, I can't be bothered, Harold. Don't ring me, I won't ring you, all right? I will. <laughs> and you can pack your bags and go as well. I'm not having this sort of thing going on under my roof. I want you out of there first thing in the morning. Can't you worry, darling, I'm about the morning. I'm going now. Good. Didn't like the look of you when you arrived. I wasn't exactly overcome with desire, neither. <laughs> Get out. I'll call the police. I shall call on tomorrow morning for the rest of my effects. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
come on now, Albie. Let's hurry up and get in. Don't call me Albie. <laughs> look, look, you don't want to come in tonight. Why don't you go home? I'm tired, I want to go to bed, I'm an old man. <laughs> you weren't an old man yesterday evening. Well, I am tonight. You're as old as you feel. I feel terrible. Oh, isn't he miserable today? Come on. Give him a little smile, Dad. Leave Leave Make your age for a woman, for God's sake. Go on. Open up. I'll soon make you feel young again. Go on. <laughs> It's me son. He's come home. Oh dear. You can't come in now. Uh, 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 goodbye. Be nice. I'll see you. Uh, when? Uh, 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 I'll ring you. Tomorrow. Uh, what I'll about tomorrow? I'll see you. I can't promise that my son's come home. Oh, Albie. Albie. Don't call me Albie. Can't you come in for a little minute? No, you can't. Control yourself. <laughs> <laughs> what time do you call me, sir? It's gone up last one. Are you coming in? Just coming. <laughs> Gotta go. Good night. It's been very nice. How am I gonna get home? Same way as you came here. Walk. Darling, <laughs> what a gentleman. I'm glad I found out in time. Oh, yes, you're very lucky. All of a lot we are. You're better off out of it. Good night. I'll tell you again. Come on in. Yes, come in. <laughs> <laughs> Am I glad to see you? Oh, please, Harold, stay here with me. I need protection. They're driving me crazy. <laughs> I'm worn out. I've got dead inside a month. Well, you know how it is. Oh, this just on now, on now. They never stop. They'll never let you alone, will they? Oh, no, it's terrible. It's all right for you, but I'm too old for it. Oh, please stay, Harold. Here, you won't have to bother what time you come in, and you can bring any birds in here you like. I, I won't interfere, I'll just go to bed. I could do with the rest. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? All right, I'll stay. Oh, thank you, Harold, thank you. You're a good boy. Here you are. Drink your milk, LV. <laughs> <laughs> you get a good night's rest. Yeah, I will. Uh, I'll... Never again. Good night, Harold. Good night, then. I'm glad you're home. So am I. <laughs>